So very glad to have you with us and a great big welcome to PCC 50 Plus Health Nights. Here it is April and we're working hard to keep everyone fit. I'm Steve Morrison, the leader of the 50 Plus Ministry and one of the pastors at Pflugerville Community Church. We're all about creating healthy minds, bodies, and spirits. Hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when a new class video is posted. Stay tuned at the end of the class for more information. Good morning, my name is Jane and I'm coming to you from Pflugerville Community Church. This morning, our devotional is about prayer <clears throat> and especially about intercessory prayer, which is prayer when you're praying for someone else. The reason many of us stop praying and become hard toward God is that we only have an emotional interest in prayer. It sounds good to say that we pray and we read books on prayer, which tell us that prayer is beneficial, that our minds are quieted and our souls are lifted when we pray. But Isaiah, but Isaiah implied in this verse that God is amazed at such thoughts about prayer. Worship and intercession must go together. One is possible without the other. Intercession means raising ourselves up to the point of getting the mind of Christ regarding the person for whom we are praying. Instead of worshiping God, we recite speeches to God about how prayer is supposed to work. Are we worshiping God or disputing him when we say, but God, I just don't see how you are going to do this. This is a sure sign that we are not worshiping. When we lose sight of God, we become hard and dogmatic. We throw our petitions at his throne and dictate to him what we want him to do. We don't worship God, nor do we seek to confirm our minds to the mind of Christ. And if we are hard toward God, we will become hard toward other people. Are we worshiping God in a way that will raise us up to where we can take hold of him, having such intimate contact with him that we know his mind about the ones for whom we pray? Are we living in a holy relationship with God or have we become hard and dogmatic? Do you find yourself thinking there is no one interceding properly? Then be that person. Be a person who worships God and lives in a holy relationship with him. Get involved in the real work of intercession, remembering that it is truly work, work that demands all your energy but work which has no hidden pitfalls. Preaching the gospel has its share of pitfalls, but intercessory prayer has none whatsoever. Our opening today comes from a Danish fellow that died back in the 1650s, Sigorn Kegard. He wrote, Christ not only spoke to us by his life, but has also spoken for us by his death. Let us pray. Lord, as you approached uh, the cross of Calvary and you willingly accepted that death, it was for our benefit and our sanctification and blessing. So, Lord, yes, we do thank you. We honor you. We bless you. May our lives be a reflection of the life you would have us to live. By and through Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Get ready. We're going to work out with the PCC Health Nuts. We're coming to you from Pflugerville Community Church. Welcome. It is a brand new day. This is Peggy, and this is Dawn, and I'm Jennifer, and we're going to start getting warmed up. I want you to go ahead and start marching. Bring those knees up. Easy, right? All right, roll your shoulders to the back. Just keep rolling them. Now let's step side to side. Tap. Side to side. Keep going. Now your arms should be a little bit warmer. Let's go ahead and bring them front to back. All right, we're going to start counting it out. For 10, 
Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now come back to a march. Get those arms going. Now, bring your arms out. <laughs> I'm really close to Peggy. <laughs> We're about to go. Everybody, high five. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and roll it to the back, nice and easy. Now, don't forget your deep breaths, always in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, now I'll stop and go the opposite way. All right, back and forth again. Now we're dancing. All right, now seriously, bring your arms this way. I want you to twist, but I want you to engage your core. All right, opposite. All right, all right. I'm gonna do something real quick. We're marching. All right, let's do that again. Okay, when you tighten your core, you're feeling it. All right. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, excuse me, and 1. All right, back to the middle. Now what I want you to do is not run into your chair, which is what I'm doing. I want you to tap out. All right, bring your arms out side to side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I do want you to kind of point downward. Only go as low as you can safely. All right. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back to the middle. Roll your shoulders back. All right, now, back and forth, and front to back. Let's open them up a little bit more. Hopefully, your shoulders are warming up. Get it a little higher. All right, now, over. With me now, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go back to the middle like we were doing before. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, I'm gonna try to keep the beat. All right, we're going down. Watch how low you go. All right, let's go ahead and call this one seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're walking, don't worry. We really are still breathing. All right, in through your nose. Let's bring our arms up, stretch, and out through your mouth. Shoulders back, keep that breathing in place. We're gonna need it. All right, now let's come around our chair. I want y'all dancing though, just like this, because this is a good time, okay? 
We should make it a good time. How many people grew up saying, I love exercise? Well, now you will, just stick around. All right, let's go back and forth. Nice deep breaths. And out through your mouth. All right, one more thing we're gonna do. Our hips are nice and warm. We're gonna go ahead and do elbow down and knee up. All right, when you're doing this, little extra bonus, twist. Tighten that core for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done with that. All right, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna kinda stop for a moment. We're gonna go ahead and take some deep breaths. The next thing we're gonna do is grab our weights. All right, in and out. Now find your weights. All right, grab your water break. All right, y'all can have a seat. All right, don't forget those deep breaths. I tend to forget them. Um, take both weights, if you can. I want you to put them on your right thigh, okay? If you can't, lift one off. You don't need any of them because it's all good work. All right, sit up straight. You might need to engage your core by tilting back just slightly, but keep that back straight. Bring it up. Here's what I want you to do. Take your leg out like a parking brake. Come on to see the bottom of your shoe. Bring it up and back. Every time you bring that knee in, you might feel a little, I don't know, sit up. All right? All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and switch sides. All right, you might need to roll out your hip a little bit or hips. All right, same thing, nice and engaged. Bring it back, all right, all the way out and back. All right, y'all ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, switch back. Same thing, and remember, pay attention to your hips. If you need to take off some weight, you're welcome to. It is not a problem, it works. We're gonna do another set. Bring it out. All right, engage your core for 10, nine. Oh, I'm off. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, remember, Shake out that hip if you need to. We are working it. All right, back, other side, bring it up. Nice and engaged. Oh, straighten that back. Get those shoulders up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, split your weights. Okay, you might need to roll it out just a little bit. All right. All I want you to do is sit up straight. Now, one weight on either side. I want you to step out or off of the motorbike, as we might say. And on the other side, back on, right? Switch. Now, when you do this, pick up your pace and control it. All right, watch those hips. All right, for 10, nine, you're sitting up straight. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So everybody knows we did 10 on both sides. I mean, let's go ahead and let's roll those hips out. Right? Hula hoop. 
nice and stretch those hips. I guess that's your hip flexor, right, in the front? All right, now let's go ahead and put our weights down. We're nice and warmed up. We're gonna do a little bit more stretching. I want you to open those legs, all right? If you need to be behind your chair to spot yourself, please do, all right? Because we're gonna bend from side to side. All right, working now to your right and back to the left. All right, don't forget your deep breaths. All right, let's do that one more time. And back again. All right, go ahead and bring it up. Roll your shoulders back. Now what I want you to do is you open it a little bit for balance. I want you to reach up on your right. You might need to bend just slightly. And I want you to reach over. Up, down, and switch. Same thing opposite side, and bend. All right, great. Go ahead and pick up your weights. Stand in front of your chair. All right, your weights are added for extra work. You can leave them in your chair because we're going to do some squatting. I want you to hang on to those weights up and down. Because when we squat, we want you to come back up. You, you know, we're doing the heel, right? Back, our form is straight. We got to balance. All right? For 10, 9, 8, squeeze, 7, squeeze your butt. Squeeze right here. Where are we? Nice. 4, 3, Two and one. It was it was funny because I just got a five and a four, so we kind of had to figure that out on the in-between. But that's okay. Let's roll it out again because we're gonna do another set. All right, you should be feeling nice and warm down here. You might need to take a little bit of your uh, squat out and just kind of do it this way. You gotta watch your hips and everything, right? Your knees. All right, same thing. All right, y'all ready? Let's count it out. What do you think? All right, for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on one, squeeze it all in, belly and butt. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And let it up. Kick those legs out. Nice deep breaths. Don't forget those. Go ahead and put your weights in your chair. I'm going to move my chair just so I can show you guys that we're gonna go ahead and work on those calves a little bit. All right, I actually just turned towards your left, so. Front part of your foot on the bar of your chair, on the side of your chair, on the edge of a stair. So make sure you're holding on real good. All right, shoulders up, back and down, step in. All right, you're nice and straight, stretching out that calf. All right. Nice deep breaths. All right, we'll finish it up with three, two, and one. Good. Walk it out a little bit and switch. Same thing, opposite foot. That heel's on the floor. That's going to give you that stretch when you step in. All right, same thing. Move forward, standing up straight, hopefully sweating. It's a brand new day and that's actually good for you. As long as we drink plenty of water. All right. For three, two, and one. Good, walk it out. Pick this up just a little bit, a decent stretch right in here. All right. Now, I'm turning my chair back around. I'm sure you don't have to do that. All right. Go ahead and keep one weight, unless you're one of our challengers. I just want you to remember to listen to your body. Be careful when you're doing things, because it's not good to overdo it. We, know, we all know that. Just gotta listen, all right? Standing up straight right now. You're actually thrusting that um, cervix forward. So you're doing this, same thing, tighten your butt. All right, anytime we do that is only helpful that I know of. Bring it down. I want you to bring that weight up to about 90 degrees and back down. Up, tighten that core and back down. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now, walk it out. Stretch it out if you need to, kick it back. All right, same thing, opposite side. We've come to the other side of your chair. Now we're working on the other leg. Same thing, tighten that butt. You should feel that. It helps you stay more balanced. All right, I want you to bring it down. Tighten your core on the way up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, stretch it out. All right, speaking of stretching it out, we're back on the other side. Go ahead and put that weight down. All right, if you are mirror imaging me, you're stepping back on your right. I just want you to stretch the front part of your thigh. I want you to lean in. Try to keep your heel on the floor in the back. When you're doing a lot of hip work, I think it's wise for us to remember to stretch. Um, periodically. All right, same thing, opposite side. Right here, step back, outside leg, right? And then lean in as much as you can. You don't wanna force it just as much as you can. Good, all right, now come back around to the other side, grab one weight. Hopefully your legs and your hips feel a little more free after we got that stretch in. All right, point your toe out. Grab your weight if you can, watch your shoulders. You may need to take the weight off, but I want you to bring your weight up and back down. Only as high as you can go comfortably, up and back down. All right, now let's add the knee to elbow. This way, when you come up and down, tighten your core. For 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, good job. Go ahead and roll out that shoulder and come to the other side. Same thing, only as high as you can go. Point out that toe. Remember, we're gonna bring it together, up and down. All right, same thing, tighten your core. For 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let that down easy, roll out that shoulder, come back. We're gonna do one more set of those. And then we get to grab a break. All right, toes out, bring it up. All right, up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're always reminding y'all to tighten your core on any, any activity you can think of. It's so good for us. We just don't realize that it's our central balance of everything. All right, same thing, up and down, tighten your core. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead and grab those weights and put them away. Just trying to set up. All right, weights down. Definite water break, couple of deep breaths, not at the same time. and come back to our seat. You don't need any weights right now. Any bands, any balls. All right, we're gonna have a seat. Rolling those shoulders back. We gotta make sure we watch that upper back too. All right, all I want you to do is we're gonna do some stretching. We're gonna kick that heel out here and here. Remember when you're sitting up, tighten your core. Bring this, this leg out, all right? We're gonna bring it back in and we're gonna bring them out. That's all we're doing, sitting up. Oh, sorry, there I go. There we go. Y'all knew what to do. 
you'll know exactly what to do. Out, I mean front, out, out and front. Where are we? Out, let's call this one eight. Out, out, seven. Tighten your core, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, now stand up. Roll out your hips. I'd be willing to bet somebody's feeling a little freer right now, because I am. Feels good. Huh? All right, I'm rolling it out, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and grab your ball, all right? Let's go ahead and sit down with them. All right, we're working on the lower body. Let's work on the top, all right? Grab your ball. Anytime we're working with the ball, remember the bonus is to squeeze it. If you're feeling uncomfortable with that, just hang on to it. I want you to reach out. You can squeeze it, bring it back in, or you can squeeze it here or both. Bring it up. You can squeeze it here. Bring it out. Squeeze up and squeeze. How's that? Squeeze up and squeeze. Ten. Nine. Eight. I'll try to slow it down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice, go ahead and roll out your shoulders. Now what I want you to do, hang on to the ball. Again, you can squeeze it, so we'll try that. But I want you to reach out on the right, grab the ball, and reach out on the left, all right? You stretch it back, watch your shoulders. Nice chest extension for you, all right? It's super important to stretch those out. Sometimes it takes a while to get you back there. I can tell you that. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, I like the shoulders. Hopefully they're nice and warm, not hurting. Y'all remember you stop when it starts hurting or if it gets too burny, it's time to stop. All right, go ahead and open those legs. I want you to grab the ball, place it on your right thigh. I want you to grab your forearm and just kind of hang on to the ball. All right, you're sitting up straight, hang on to your ball any way you need to so you don't lose it. All right, now I want you to bear down using your core and your upper body, bear down for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I want you to switch all the way to the other side. Same thing. All right, don't forget the deep breath. I was forgetting. All right, same thing. Bear down and back up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now walk your feet in, place the ball between your thighs. All right, the only thing we try to avoid is placing in between the joints, which is your knee, just bring it further back. What I want you to do is sit up straight, all right? Right now, if you bring those feet together and you squeeze that ball in, you should feel it, all right? When you do, I want you to hold it there nice and strong. Try to pop the ball if you'd like. All right, and we're gonna hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to rest. I like to reshape my ball. <laughs> I wonder if that really works. Anyway, all right, same thing. We're gonna do another set. I want you to bring it in, sit up straight. Remember to bring it in to where you can feel it. You know, right, you're doing kind of a little sit up. All right, and hold it. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, that's it. Open your legs again. All right, roll your shoulders back. You're sitting up straight, deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Now we're gonna do another set of what we were doing before where we rested on our thigh. Come back to the left, right, to the right. All right, using your core, we're gonna bear down. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way back over. All right, same thing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Walk your feet in. We're going to go ahead and stand up. Lots of hip work there. Let's go ahead and roll it out. All right, nice deep breaths along the way. Both directions. Good, now have a seat. All right, use your fingers. I want you to take that ball and I want you to walk it down. All right, nice easy stretch on the lower back. If it's stretching and it feels good, you might need to park it right there. If you can go a little further, you're welcome to toward the toes. But when you do, keep your head up. I'm gonna look, I guess, five to six feet. Peggy was saying that the other day. I think that's a fair statement. I was testing it, because you don't want to strain the back of your neck. That's not our goal. Our goal, keep that your head above your heart. All right, bring it up. Now, all right, working from the right to the left. All right, like this. You don't have to go fast. We're just getting some more mobility on board. All right, so 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice and warm. Roll it out. We are going to do 10 going the opposite direction. All right, either way. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stand up. Roll out your shoulders. And I want you to go ahead and put your ball up and grab a water break. Nice deep breath, too. Don't forget that. All right, no equipment. Go ahead and come to the right side of your chair. All right, remembering those deep breaths. All right, everybody ready. And everybody says, yes. Okay. We're standing up straight. We're tucking in that butt. We're bringing up our leg. Now, make sure you point your toes ahead of you. All right. I want you to bring this up nice and controlled, pulsing our hips for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax your hips a little bit. What we're gonna do now, so I want you to bring it up. I'd like you to roll it in circles toward the front. We're just gonna do it Let's see. for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, same thing, but we're gonna go to the back. All right, get it going. All right, we'll count it out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, go ahead and walk around. All right, same thing. If you're standing up straight, shoulders up. All right, tighten that core, bring that leg up, toes forward, and pulse. For 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it out. 
I hope everybody's feeling really good right now. All right, bring it up. All right, we're gonna roll it. Remember, just five, four, three, two, and one. Good, rest. All right, same thing, five to the back. Get it going. All right, for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, roll out those hips. Woo, that was good. All right, I'm gonna turn my chair. Y'all shouldn't have to. All right. We're gonna work with our hips, but we're gonna work them to the back. All we're gonna do is keep our toes pointed downward. Bring it back up. Okay, you're holding onto that chair. Bring it up and back down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll it out. Now we're working on the other side, opposite leg, same thing. Hold on to your chair, bring it up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done with that, roll out your hips. Guess what we get to do? Grab your bands, but grab a water break first. Deep breath or two. Y'all go ahead and have a seat. Okay, I'm going to ask that you keep yourself seated. However, these are always modifiable, right? Is that a word? Modifiable or modified if you need it. All right, because we're gonna do what we might consider push-ups, and you can do them standing up and tighten that core and all that good stuff, but we've been working a lot on the bottom. You need to pay attention to that. We're about 15, roughly 15 inches apart. Again, watch your shoulders. We're gonna bring that band out. Got those shoulders up straight, right? Just like this. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and bring it down. You can roll out the shoulders this way. Sometimes we do this, kind of like a figure eight, or some people say infinity sign. All right. Now let's go ahead and bring it back up. I'm gonna do two sets of these and we'll do a little bit different in just a moment. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pay attention to your shoulders. Warm is good, but if it gets too hot, it's time to stop. All right, what I want you to do is like give yourself a little more leverage. Always make sure we like to tell people don't put your um, hand through the band. All right, make sure that's free. All right, give yourself a little more leverage. All right, I want you to start on the right side. Keep that left arm up. I want you to bring the other one up to meet it and then bring the opposite side down and bring the other ones up to meet it. Now I do know that we like to point out some people have restriction in their shoulders. Bring that band lower in front of you. You might be able to see it a little easier this way or you can bring it up. All right, let's do it. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hang on, this is one. Nice, roll out your shoulders. All right, go ahead and put your band under your feet. All I want you to do here is I want you to reverse switch handles, right? You're working on the opposite side. I just want you to bring those bands up, bring those feet in as much as you need to. All right, sit up straight, okay? I want you to be able to control your band when you step out on one side 
and out on the other, okay? We like to call this stomping bugs. Pay attention to your hips for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, as you get further along, I hope you realize you're also tightening that core. Let's do one more set of those and we're gonna go ahead and put our bands up, okay? Same thing, stepping out. Might wanna take a little bit of that band tension off if you need to for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, nice. All right, go ahead and stand up. We've got to roll out those hips again. And deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to go ahead and check the bands out for today or back in. Go ahead and put them down. <laughs> we're checking out on that activity. Um, and then we're going to come back to do a little more stretching before we do what we like to call is a cool down. All right, come to the front of your chair. I'm gonna do this from the side, you'll see it from the front. All right, legs open, bring your hands up and out. Now, I want you to bring your left arm back. Try not to twist the upper body too much, or rather the upper body, keep it at the waist. You're kind of like freely twisting at the waist. All right, back to the other side. Bring it open to the front and back to the other side. Good, nice and easy. And back to the other side. Let's do one more. And back to the other side. Good, while your hands are here, I just want you to hold your hands together and arch your back like a cat. Or cow, sometimes we call it that, right? Or is cow the opposite way? That's the opposite way, we're gonna do that. All right, right, now, back. All right, don't forget those deep breaths. All right, go ahead and come to the back of your chair. The same thing that we were doing earlier, but I want you to be able to bring your foot out and bring that in to hold it. All right, we were going from side to side, so we kind of had, had to bring our legs in a little bit, but now use your chair to spot yourself. All right, make sure we've got everything nice and stretched out. All right, now bring it up. Same thing, get yourself in a good position. You do want to stretch, but you watch, watch yourself. You don't want to go too low. Bring it down. All right, good, nice. All right, pull those shoulders back. Let's go ahead and have a seat. All right, sitting up straight. I want you to kick out your left foot, uh, heel only, right there, right, like this. We're just gonna keep it going. I hope you guys are enjoying our workout. It's been a good one. Thanks for coming. Y'all need to join us again and become a part of the PCC Health Nuts. We love having you. We're gonna bring our legs out we did before, just like this, just a little bit. Let's just do it, just a little bit. One more time. All right, out, almost forgot the out. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and open your legs. We're gonna start here, all right? So I want you to bring your arms down, okay? Now I want you to lean in, right at the hips, stretching forward. Nice deep breaths. All right, now I want you to try to point your right shoulder toward the floor. All right, bring it up. Let's do the other side. All right, now that you've done that, I want you to kick your right foot out, heel on the floor. Okay, loose knee, 
sitting up straight and toes pointed toward the ceiling. Now what I want you to do is kind of rest here and reach out. Like you're giving us, uh, what is this, a low five, straight five? It's not high, so we'll call it a straight five. All right, and y'all smile along the way. We can't forget that. Makes it a whole lot more fun. All right, if you want to touch your toe, you're welcome to. Make sure you keep that knee nice and loose. All right. But keep that head up too. Good, all right. Now what I want you to do is I want you to bring your leg in and I want you to grab under your thigh, both hands, just kind of bring it to support it because you're gonna use your upper body strength to hang on to what we like to call a limp leg because we know that that's a free leg. It just kind of sits there, right? All right, we wanna go ahead and roll. All right, we're working out that hip. Hopefully it's nice and easier. Nice and easier. All right, stop in the middle and go the opposite way. I like to kind of use this as an upper body strengthening moment also. All right, I want you to stay in the air. I want you to go ahead and bring that ankle over the opposite thigh. Now, right here, you are sitting up straight. You may have a great stretch going on right now in your right hip. If you do not and you want something deeper, I want you to either push this thigh down, maybe point this heel up here toward the ceiling. You can also hinge forward at the hips. Some people only do that. It's completely up to you. I see Peggy's over here modifying by reaching her hands back and stretching out, right? You can do that. I like to sit up straight and lift my heel off the floor. So anything you can do right here, this is traditionally called the figure four stretch, but it's done in different ways. So we like to get creative so you can get a good stretch. Nice deep breath. I like to call this my all day stretch because I love it and it helps me in so many ways. All right, bring your hands together. I want you to do this, hang on. And I want you to try to bring your knee toward the opposite shoulder. You are looking over your right shoulder. Right, okay, we can stop now. <laughs> I really do like that one. All right, go ahead and turn towards your, which wall is that? Your right wall. All right. Now you're sitting up straight, hang on to your front thigh. Right here, we're trying to get a stretch. I want you to push back a little bit and see if you can get that hip to thigh stretch. If you can get a good stretch in there, that's my goal. Watch your knees though. You don't want to do it too, back, uh, too far back. All right, sit up straight. Put your, go ahead and put your uh, right arm on the back of your chair and reach up on the left. We're gonna stretch over right toward the back of our chair. Get a good stretch on that side if you haven't already gotten enough. All right, I want you to bring that up, bring that arm down, lift that outer leg and bring the other leg around. So you're sitting pointed towards your right wall um, right now. Everybody in here probably is going to turn using the back of their chair. Easy twist. All right, y'all keep doing that. I'm going to turn around and give a modification for people that don't have this setup or they need to do it this way. I want you to hang on to your thigh right here at your hip and your thigh. And I want you to pull that direction. That is essentially the same twist. All right, we just want you to get a good, easy back twisting because it feels so good. Just be careful. All right, go ahead and bring it around to the front. Now we're going to work on the left. I want you to kick that leg out, heel on the floor. Remember to loosen your knee, to toes pointed up, sit up straight and lean in. I thought Peggy was talking to me and she's singing. She's over here humming with the music. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Challenge, if you want to touch your toe, you're welcome to keep your head up. This is the relaxing part. All right. 
Now, bring it back in. All right, go ahead and reach under the thigh. Remember to relax your hip, but up with the shoulders. You gotta be able to hang on to that. Your leg is usually a little heavy. All right, at least mine is. Go ahead and roll out, nice and free. All right, go ahead and stop in the middle. I want you to go the opposite direction. All right, good. Go ahead and cross your ankle over your opposite thigh. Remember the same thing, we're sitting up straight. You may be right where you need to be to get a good stretch. If not, you can lean in. You can do what other people are doing. I noticed Peggy's modifying on one side like she's not the other. Are you going back? Everybody's different, so, and sometimes I'm hurting more on my right, meaning I'm more restricted or uncomfortable. So you may, wanna, may not wanna do very much, you're just sitting here. Um, that's the way to get that mobility back with my heel. All right, now reach under, same thing. Try to bring that knee toward the opposite shoulder. over that shoulder. Especially when we're doing these exercises, I like to mention that try is the operative word. Because everybody's working at different paces and levels. All right, go ahead and bring it down and bring it around. Now we're facing your left wall. All right, right leg down, sitting up straight, hands on the front thigh, and I want you to push back. Nice and easy. Find that good stretch and hold it there. Sit up straight, left arm on the back of your chair, reach up and over. All right, remember the modification, how I did it, holding on to your thigh. All right, this is what we're doing, easy twist on the back of our chair. All right, bring it around. Let's go ahead and sit back. You're sitting up straight. Don't forget your deep breaths, always in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to lean over ear to shoulder. Right now we're working on your right, but I like to also tell people sometimes, we tell them, drop that arm on the outside and just let it relax. Hopefully you're getting a stretch on the outer left. That's our goal. Now that we stretched out that side, what I want you to do is I want you to look over your right shoulder. That stretch is designed to help you move your head easier, one direction or the other. All right, now bring it back to the front. I want you to do the other side, nice and easy. And then you decide if you wanna drop that arm and let it relax. All right, bring it up. Now look over your left shoulder. If you're still feeling kind of restricted, do those stretches often because they feel really good and they help you a lot. Um, let's go ahead and bring your arms out. All right, I want you to try to bring them back. Get those shoulder blades to touch. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to reach up on your left. I want you to find the back of your neck, just reach down. Now, I'm gonna modify this stretch by doing this and pushing back. Other people can do what Dawn is doing, yeah where you grab this elbow and you stretch. The goal is to stretch here. Okay, so you do the best you can. You gotta watch. All right, I want you to bring it out again. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. Reach up on your left, find the back of your neck. 
and bring it around. I'm going to modify again. Alright, I want you to bring your hands out and I want you to roll. Keep those fists going. Alright, roll. Hope you can feel that on the top of your arms. Roll to the back. Alright, squeeze. Open. Squeeze and open. Now I want you to go ahead and bring those arms in. Roll your shoulders back. I want you to drop your hands here and all the way up I want you to stretch. When we stop at the top, stretch as far as you can, all the way out. Don't forget your deep breaths. What I want you to do now is stand up if you can. You do not have to. I want you to open your legs. I want you to bring that stretch all the way out. Okay, let's do that one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now we like to end our uh, classes with the prayer position because we are so thankful that you've been here and uh, we'd like you to come back and join us anytime. Have a great day. That was a really good class and it was great having you with us today. You're invited to reach out with an email or phone call to find out more about the activities of the PCC 50 plus health nuts group. We're a group of seniors caring for seniors with activities to enhance and enrich our lives. New classes are posted regularly, so hit the subscribe button and you won't miss any of them. Share this YouTube channel with your friends and let's get them started to a healthier lifestyle too. Look forward to hearing from you and let me know if you wanna learn more about the criteria to register to attend in person. Online's nice, but in person can be better. Until next time, keep the faith and move some every day.